We're going to connect different devices to it to check its capacity. We need to turn on this switch. If there were hidden batteries, the device would start up immediately, but it doesn't. We wrap the cable back around the alternator shaft. We flip the switch on the power strip connected to the alternator. When we pull the cable, the modified alternator begins to spin, generating 220 volts. That voltage through the power strip is injected into the motor, and it also powers anything we plug into the power strip, like this angle grinder. In turn, the motor, as it rotates through the drive belt, rotates the alternator, maintaining the feedback system constant and indefinitely. The Liberty Engine 1.0 emerges as a synthesis of many advances made by T. Henry Murray, Howard Johnson, and Nikola Tesla. Why don't we commercialize this generator?